Hi, today I'm going to talk about layers, um, how to print using a CTB uh, to set up those layers, and then also that uh, first conference room assignment, which will be the end part of my video here. Um, you can use this video again anytime you get a new version of AutoCAD installed on your computer. You will have to set up your CTB again for printing. And um, so we're going to talk about a couple of different things with that. So you have your AutoCAD set up to print um, and you're using the template. And in the template already has a bunch of layers. So the layers um, dialog box is in this layers panel right here, which is on the home tab. And if I select on this top button here, um, this is the layer properties box. And if I select that, I get the layers properties box to open the layer property properties box looks like this and you can see that there's a bunch of different layers in here and they all have colors associated with them and um, over on the right side you can see that some of them have been shut off for printing and they should not be shut off for printing they should all be on um, the only one that does not print ever is the layer def points and we'll be talking about when you use this layer def points um, in another video about printing and so all of these different layers, um, the, we control the line weight by color. And the reason that we do that is because it's easier to look at your drawing and turn those things um, that are going to be a lighter line weight, like your flooring patterns, for example, to be um, blue, which is our lightest line weight, and to have something that's cut through and very heavy, um, which is something like A calls, which is our columns, to be magenta, which is a very heavy line weight for printing. And so those um, colors are already set up, and we're using these um, line weights and these layer names per a typical AIA method of um, labeling layers. So you have a document inside of your folder, um, inside of the AutoCAD folder called AutoCAD Standards, and it has a lot of the information in there that you also find in the videos, how to set up your AutoCAD after it's installed, etc. Um, it talks about file format and setup, so it talks about how we would like um, files to be saved and set up. Um, talks about saving, save and save often. Uh, again, you have that server that you're on the server, you have space to be able to save things and you want to also save them there. And um, talks about blocks, information that should be on title blocks. We're going to come back to this talking about blocks with, when we're talking about the assignment uh, today, the conference room assignment. And then model space and paper space, which is re in reference to printing, which again, that'll be another video. But what we're talking about today is the pen weight. So if you go down to page three of five, you'll find pen weights here. And it talks about blue, um, you know, so pen number five, color blue, um, is 0 0.05 millimeters, which is the smallest line weight that you can use, all the way up to um, our magenta at 0.45 and then fuchsia at 0.53. Um, all of these different colors also have uh, numbers associated with them. So this number five blue um, is specific. Number five blue, not just any blue, but number five blue. Um, so this has been set up inside of your um, AutoCAD. If you decide to change your color of your floor, um, so instead of using blue, you want to use some kind of orange or something like that, then you're going to also have to change your CTB accordingly. So you're going to have to also change the color orange to print at 0.05, which is how what we're going to go over today. So this um, chart is always located within that AutoCAD standards folder. However, the template is always um, set up with this different information, but not the CTB. The CTB you have to set up anytime you get a new version of AutoCAD. So I'm just going to leave that open off to the side, and I'm going to close my layer dialog box, and we're going to set up our CTB. So I'm just going to open so I have both of these things open. Oh, an accessibility. No, thank you. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so um, I'm going to make my AutoCAD just a little bit bigger here so I can see what's happening with that. And I'm going to go to print. So I'm going to under the A, and I'm going to go to print. And I have my print dialog box here. Now, if you don't have this information over on the right showing up, in other words, your print dialog box looks like this. There's a little arrow in the bottom right-hand corner. You want to select that. And then you can see that my IDSN CTB is missing. Again, that's because anytime I had an IDSN CTB associated with this drawing, I no longer have it associated with this drawing because this is a new computer and a new version of AutoCAD. So I'm going to say new here to be able to create a new plot style. And on the top of that next dialog box, I'm going to select start from scratch. 
I'm going to select next and then I'm going to give it a name and I like to give mine my name because again I find that easy to find so I name it myself but you can name it whatever you would like um, so then I'm going to select next and um, I'm going to use this for the uh, this plot style for the current drawing and it's also then going to use this plot style anytime I open any any drawings in AutoCAD as long as I don't have my AutoCAD reinstalled um, so then I'm going to say finish and now you can see that up here on the top of my plot styles pens um, that I have that it says Cindy and it says CTB now if yours says STB so it does not say CTB but it says STB um, you need to close this dialog box and type the following command convert convert P styles all one word down there in the um, command line and hit enter um, it's, it's then going to tell you that it's going to switch from STB to CTB and um, it'll give you that information there okay so I'm just going to go back to print over here on the right and I'm going to click on this thing that looks like a tool bench and a wrench over on the right hand side and I'm going to edit my CTB so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each of these colors and I'm going to set it up according to what is my chart over here on my left hand side so I'm going to find color number five, which is color number five blue. Um, but I don't want that to print in blue when I print because our drawings we print in black and white with the exception of your logo. Um, so I'm going to select that I want that to print in black. And then under line weight, I'm going to change that to my 0.05. And then for my end style, I'm going to change that to butt. And I'm, those are the three things that I'm going to change. And I'm just going to go through each of these colors and find that. So I'm going to go find color 151, and I'm going to do that same thing. 151, I'm going to select black. I'm going to change the um, line weight there um, to 0.05. And I'm going to ch change the end style to butt. And I'm just going to keep going. So red, and it's pen number one. And I'm going to change that to black. To print in black and I'm going to change the line weight to 0.09 okay so I would just keep going through all of those until I have all of these colors all the way down to the fuchsia done and I'm going to say save and close and I'm just going to say cancel and so that sets us up to be able to um, have things that are different colors and as you can see in this drawing it makes it a lot easier to see what's going on um, without having to have um, different elements in here if this was just all white we wouldn't be able to see the difference between our furniture and it would just be difficult for our eyes to look at.